y'all welcome back to another video today i'm going to be answering the questions from the lock tag now i have done the micro locks tag in the past where i answered questions regarding my regrets my mistakes and essentially why i didn't choose traditional locks because i originally wanted traditional locks if you want to see my micro locks tag i will have that linked in the description box down below and also in the i cards on whichever side it's on today i'm going to be answering 20 questions from the lock tag I'm not really sure who started the lock tag but I will have all 20 questions in my description box so if you have locks and you want to do this tag then I'll have all the questions there for you to answer let's go ahead and start off with question number one do you remember the specific moment you decided you were going to lock your hair where were you and how did you feel I don't really remember if there was a specific moment that I realized that I wanted to lock my hair. I just remember there being this season in my life where I did not want to deal with my hair anymore. I was sick of it. I was sick of everything. I've never been the type of person that liked hair anyways. I didn't really enjoy doing my hair. I never really styled it. I just went natural and basically kept my hair in box braids for the majority of the time because in box braids I wouldn't have to deal with my hair for about a month or so but whenever my hair was not in that protective style I was lost I didn't know what to do I did twist outs occasionally but honestly I did the bare minimum I was not taking very good care of my hair at all because I just wasn't interested and that was it y'all I honestly don't remember I'm so sorry I have a video of my natural hair journey going from a text lax person to natural to locks so in that video I may have touched on the specific moment that I realized that I wanted locks but but one day it just came over me like locks perfect I was sick of doing my hair but I just knew that I did not want to have another relaxer I just did not want to go through that chemical damage at all the only other natural solution for me was locks and so that's why i chose them i went to pinterest and i made this board of all of my lock inspo pictures i'll either have it linked down below or on the screen but i don't think that any of those pictures are showcasing micro locks or sister locks i believe they're all traditional locks because at the time that's what i wanted but still it's fun to look at and just to see where my mind was a couple of years ago when I decided that I wanted to have locks. What method, if any, did you use to start your lock? I started my locks with two strand twists. I have a video of my installation process up on my channel. I have a whole playlist actually dedicated to my locks, so shameless plug. I'm plugging myself. I'll have the micro locks journey playlist in the description box as well so that y'all can watch that if you would like. How old are your locks? So my locks will be two years old in about three months. November 22nd is my lock anniversary day so everybody save the date in your calendars because November 22nd is my two year lock anniversary. What is the length of your longest lock and shortest? I have no idea, but we're about to find out. So I have this little tape measure. So um, this is my longest lock. Um, it kind of sticks out like a sore thumb, which I've grown to love. Initially it kind of bothered me, but now I don't mind it. So we're gonna see how long this one is. Oh no, I lost it. Okay. Okay, so my longest lock is about 14 inches long. I have something to say. So I actually lost um a really big portion of my lock the other day. This lock is currently my shortest one because all of this broke off the other day. I actually saved it. I'm gonna go get it real fast. Here she is. This is so sad. It was connected right here like this, and it looked exactly like this. This was kind of thinned out. It lasted for about five months, so um, it tried to hang in there, but it just couldn't. Sorry I'm getting off track, but since that happened, I'm definitely going to fix one of these locks up here because, child, it's the same thing going on. Look at this one. This one looks exactly like the one that I just lost. Then this right here. So, kind of worried. But let's go ahead and measure the the length of my shortest lock so that's actually not my shortest one this one back here in the back right there that's my shortest lock 
about two and a half inches long. So my longest lock is 14 inches long and my shortest one is about two and a half inches. Do you have any locks that are especially unique, strange, or awesome? So I kind of touched on it earlier, but my strangest or the most unique lock is this one. This is also my longest one. It's very compressed right here. Um, I actually thought that this was braided, but it's not. It's twisted and it's just compressed at the bottom a lot <laughs> so that's why that one looks like that and it sticks out like a sore thumb but hey you learn to deal with it i think i'm gonna name it string bean how many locks do you have currently or is it the same as the number that you started with i started off with about 644 locks and i don't think i have technically completely lost any locks so far they have shrunk in size because a piece may have broke off like this but I don't think that I have lost it from the root to where it's completely gone so I think I still have about 644 locks which is the same number that I started with what shampoo or other products do you use on your locks? I have been using a new shampoo that I absolutely love I love this shampoo way more than the Kimra clarifying shampoo if y'all are OG's and you have been here since the beginning with my lock journey then you know that means a lot because I have tried so many shampoos in my day, but nothing really compared to the Kimra Clarifying Shampoo. I love that one, but I found one that beats it. I unfortunately don't have the shampoo with me right now, but I do have the conditioner that matches it. This is the Design Essentials Almond and Avocado Conditioner, but I use the shampoo. I haven't tried the conditioner yet, but my mom has used it, as you can see. There's like a little bit gone off the top. She has started to implement conditioners into her wash day. But I have not yet. But I'm tempted to try this one because I love the shampoo so much. You really need it in your life. Trust me. Trust me. I think she got this from Ulta. But I'm not sure. So I'll link it down below in the description box if you would like to purchase it. You guys. This this is the one that was the shampoo that i really love now as far as other products i'm still loving candy sweets beauties premium hair growth oil as you can tell i have been using this like crazy i am so in love with this hair oil you guys you have to get it you have to when i run out of this i'm gonna get another one it smells so good i apply it to my scalp normally every other day and i also just kind of break it through my ends because it smells really good now something else that i have been adding to my lock hair products is this argan oil of morocco i used to use this a lot with my box braids back in the day this is more of a dry oil it gives me that shine and that sheen without making my hair feel very um oily I guess I could say it says it's weightless on the bottle it literally is weightless and I love it those are the products that I've been using on my hair how often do you wash your locks I wash my hair once a week I'm finding that I really love to wash my hair like midweek for some reason usually Saturdays or Sundays have been like my wash day or my days that I dedicate to my hair but now I'm really loving a Tuesday wash day or even a Wednesday wash day. I've noticed that with my hair, the first couple of days, it's kind of shrunken. So after the third day, my hair kind of gets more elongated. So by the time the weekend rolls around, if I wash my hair on Tuesday, Saturday, that twist out, that braid out, whatever, it's gonna be bomb and get ready for the weekend. That's why I like washing my hair on Tuesdays. I know that had nothing to do with the question that was asked. I wash my hair once a week normally on a Tuesday or Wednesday so that's just a little fun fact I guess what are your favorite beads or other decorations I normally don't wear lock jewelry that often but whenever I do it's from Regal Locks lock jewelry I have the Instagram on the screen here for you to see those lock jewels were crafted by Green Thoughts so hey girl I love your lock jewelry so I'll have her Instagram linked up here so you can see it that was question 10 I skipped question 9 by accident so question 9 was do you have any regular maintenance on your locks? Sadly, no. I am looking for a loctician. If y'all saw my last video, then you know I'm kind of struggling with that. I've had a negative experience on the phone with a sister locks consultant here in the Houston area. And it kind of made me scared to reach out and go get my hair done. Because I would really like to do that to keep myself on a set schedule of six weeks. But right now, I'm just kind of self 
maintaining and it's not going well i'm super slow i'm about to start college overall i just don't see myself having the time to do this no unfortunately i'm not on a regular maintenance schedule but i need to be don't be like me do not do that make sure that you're on a schedule i feel like if you're on a set schedule then your locks will flourish as you can see i'm having issues so don't be like me and make yourself stick to a set schedule if your locks had their own personal motto what would it be Ooh, this is a fun question um if my hair had a set motto it would probably be just go with the flow <laughs> if you could start a new set of locks would you do anything differently if i were to ever start a new set of locks i would probably not choose micro locks again it would definitely be small traditional locks don't get me wrong i love my micro locks but if i were to start a new set of locks i would not get micro locks again it would be traditional locks is there anything else unique about your appearance other than locks tattoos piercings etc hmm, that's a interesting question so i do not have any tattoos i'm physically incapable of getting a tattoo because i'm a big baby i can't handle that but i do have some piercings so i do have my first and second hole piercing on my ear i would love to get a third one like my cartilage pierced up here but i heard that that healing process is horrible so i don't know about that i also have my belly button pierced i know crazy right how many people do you know personally with locks my grandmother has micro locks my mom has micro locks um my older brother used to have locks but he recently cut them off i don't know why and i think that's it oh i have a cousin he has locks he actually has freeform locks and they're dragging the floor they're so beautiful so just four people have any employers turned you down for having locks or any wanted you because of your locks no no employers have turned me down because of my locks i don't think my my hair had anything to do with getting the job that I have now so no what's the weirdest question you've gotten about your locks I think the person that asked me kind of the weirdest dumbest question it didn't really register to them that I had locks I think that they just thought that I twist my hair up like this every week for a style so they were really questioning me about how in the world I have the time to detangle and retwist my hair like this because every week they see me with my hair like this and they just want to know where do i get the time to keep it up and what's the most common question you get about your locks the most common question that i get is how do you maintain that and i understand because it's it's a lot have you ever had a freak accident with your locks no but i guess would this be considered a freak accident because if so then yes i've had at least two freak accidents do you have any locked role models? If so, who? Yes, I do have plenty. Chloe and Hallie, obviously, I love their locks and I love their music, but I digress. Dread Tree, I love his locks. He's a free former. I have a folder on Instagram saved with all of my lock inspo. It's just all my mood board photos of people with locks. What lock YouTubers could you see yourself hanging out with in real life? I could see myself hanging out with the real Ronnie. So the last question of this lock tag is who am I gonna tag? I tag any and everybody that has locks, whether you have starter locks, you have mature locks, traditional, free form, micro, sister lock, whatever. Again, I'll have all the questions in my description box so that you can answer those. That's all that I have for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. If you want to see more content from me, follow me on Instagram. It'll be right here on the screen. I'll talk to y'all in my next video, and I'm out. If you're doing what everyone else is doing, you're doing it wrong. Oh, <laughs> my